1600 a race. Wait for the all clear. Start against the all clear. 1600 a race. Gates are open. They came away to a perfect beginning. Impact pushes forward. Service Ace is up there too with the speed. Enius, the red cap, is also going up to improve position. Miller Hughes in behind those. Further back, it's Night Ruler, Paper Trail. And Captive Moon is the trailer at about six lengths off them. Impact up front shows the way for Enius. Service Ace is racing in third. Miller Hughes racing about four lengths off the lead. Then came Night Ruler, Paper Trail further back. And Captive Moon is the trailer at about eight lengths off them. Now Enius decides the pace is too slow and goes to take it up. Leads the way by two lengths from Impact racing in second. Service Ace is in behind those with Miller Hugh about five, six lengths off the lead. Night Ruler further back with Paper Trail and Captive Moon the trail in about ten lengths off them. Enius really getting on with the business up front. Leads the way by five lengths now from Impact Racing in second. Service Ace is in behind those. Miller Hugh about seven lengths off the lead. Night Ruler further back. Paper Trail and Captive Moon is the trailer. Ten lengths off the lead. Enius got away by seven lengths now. Leads the way clear from Impact Racing in second. Service Ace is in behind those. Miller Hugh must be nine lengths off the lead with Night Ruler as they straighten up. They've got 450 for the line. Enius is out in front, tries to make every post a winning one, has the lead by five lengths, service ace. Knight Ruler in the center, down towards the inside, impact. Millie who starts to make progress to six or seven to go, but out in front, Enius is a big leader. Leads the way by four or five lengths from Knight Ruler in behind those. Millie who tries to kick on, but it's all Enius. The red cap is out in front and not for catching this afternoon. Enius, a runaway victory from goes on to win by about five lengths from Knight Ruler. Then Miller Hugh in behind those, and it's tight in behind that between Captain Moon and Service Ace. Head on shows your winner, the four Enius, who took it up midway around the bend, is about five or six lengths clear at this stage from Knight Ruler. Then came Miller Hugh, Service Ace. They're all chasing shadows because it's the four Enius. Far too good for them. Stretches away to win it. The four Enius has won it. From the two, Knight Ruler back in second. Then it's the one Miller Hugh into third, and then the seven Captive Moon back in fourth position. Your numbers 4217 for race number five. Well, a spectacular victory there by number four, Enias, the son of Ursin Gedrix. He's only a three-old. He was ridden by Keegan DeMello this afternoon for the Candace Robinson yard. Keegan, well done. Thank you very much, Fizzy. The decision to go clear like that, was that uh, made early before the race or was it at the spur of the moment? No, no, just spur of the moment, you know. And Candace um, told me in the ring, just try to keep your position. And uh, he went down really nicely today and uh, he, he broke all right. I, I kept him in the race a little bit and I, I thought the wrong horse was coming around me so I, I decided to do it myself and he was nice and relaxed, he was building and uh, yeah, just full credit to the horse, he, he really gave me his all today. Did you realise how far clear you were at like, turning five? I must be honest, I didn't, I had a look probably at the 600 and I saw I was clear and I didn't think I was going that hard so <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was in two minds but uh, yeah, when I got off the false rail I gave him a little smack and uh, he, he, he kicked on nicely. Just well done to Mr. Cooper and well done to the whole best racing, racing team. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunities. Well done to you, Keegan. Super ride. Yeah, thank you. And to my sponsors, Winning Form, thank you. Well done. All right. Well, this is um, a bit of a special moment for you, I believe, Candice. You've set a new record for your amount of winners per season of 105. So well done to thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stan. Yes, so it was 104 last year and we just, we actually surpassed it with a really nice win too. Yeah. Yeah, to do it like that was spectacular, wasn't it? No, very nice. Oh, Stan, you know, he, I didn't really know what to expect from him today. He was a horse that up until his last maiden when he just was disappointing every time and he just seemed to shirk a little bit in most of his races. And I think that Port Elizabeth win maybe gave him a bit of confidence that he needed to have. And he's come back and I've just been a bit easy on him and he's been working really well lately. And obviously you don't know what to expect. I mean, that form was pretty weak in P. All, even though he won very comfortably. Um, you're not really sure what to expect coming out into, you know, it was a fairly competitive field here today, so it was super impressive, I think. It's going to be interesting to see what sort of tactics you adopt next time out. <laughs> I don't know. Well, look, I mean, my horses are never that 
kind of front running runners, but uh, I think he likes to race up handy anyway, Stan. And uh, I just, I don't know, nobody seemed to track him today unless he was just doing it too easily. And, um, you know, obviously the stable companion was more fancy than what, his, what he was today and uh, just didn't really work out. But uh, super win for him regardless, both the same owner. So well done to Jagasar, to, to Maria. Um, they've had a nice run with me lately and may it continue. Once again, well done to you. Thank you. There we go, Candice Robinson notches up her new record. 105 winners for the season. That takes some doing, and she's done a superb job, her and her team. Ineas, number four, he wins the fifth.